Welcome to Verilite TV. This video demonstrates how to program Verilite VCOM dimmers to optimize the performance of LED lighting. When you first install the dimmer switch, it will automatically default to mode 1. This mode is the best one for almost all types of LED lighting, but if the lights are flashing in mode 1, you may be able to improve the dimming performance by changing the driving mode. Additionally, the minimum and maximum brightness setting of the dimmer can be adjusted to achieve the optimum dimming range for a particular load. It has been noted that some LEDs do not show the programming as well as others. If you're having difficulty seeing the programming steps, you can replace one LED lamp with a halogen one for the duration of the programming in order to see the steps more clearly. Changing the driving mode. Unless the lights are flashing, it is likely that the best dimming performance that lamps can deliver is achieved in mode one. If the lights are flashing, then you may be able to improve the performance of your lamps by manually changing the driving mode to mode two, or in a small number of cases, mode three. Please note, if the load is extremely incompatible, we would recommend putting a halogen or incandescent lamp into the circuit to stabilize the load. Setting the dimmer to mode two. Switch on and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn fully clockwise. Turn the lights off and back on again three times by pressing the dimmer six times, roughly once per second. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode. Then stay at a low light level or go off. To select mode two, first turn the knob fully anti-clockwise, then fully clockwise. The lights will flash two times to show the dimmer is in mode two. The dimmer can now be operated normally in the new mode. Setting the dimmer to mode three. Switch on and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn fully clockwise. Turn the lights off and back on again three times by pressing the dimmer six times, roughly once per second. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode. Then stay at a low light level or go off. To select mode three, turn the knob fully anti-clockwise. The lights will flash three times to show the dimmer is in mode three. The dimmer can now be operated normally in the new mode. Returning the dimmer to mode 1. Switch on and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn fully clockwise. Turn the lights off and back on again three times by pressing the dimmer six times, roughly once per second. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode, then stay at low light level or go off. To select mode one, turn the knob fully anti-clockwise. The lights will flash once to show that the dimmer has returned to mode one. The dimmer can now be operated normally in the new mode resetting the dimmer. If you alter your lighting load, we recommend you reset the dimmer to the factory default settings. Switch on and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Press to turn the lights off and back on again three times, leaving approximately one second between presses. Wait for the dimmer to step the lights up and down. Then press to turn the lights off and back on again three more times leaving approximately one second between presses. The dimmer will reset to factory settings. The lights will come on, then fade away to off. Continue to use the dimmer as normal. Adjusting the minimum brightness. If your lights are flickering when they are dimmed to a low level, you can increase the minimum brightness setting of the dimmer, which may prevent this from happening. If the lights are brighter than you would like when the dimmer is set to minimum, you can try reducing the minimum brightness setting of the dimmer. Switch on and set the dimmer knob to the minimum position, turning fully anti-clockwise. Press to turn the lights off and back on again three times, leaving approximately one second between presses. The lights will step up and down in brightness and stay at a low light level or go off to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode. Turn the knob fully clockwise. The lights will come on and allow you to adjust the minimum brightness. Adjust the brightness that you are happy with as a minimum, then leave the dimmer in this position. After three seconds, the dimmer will notice that you've stopped adjusting the minimum. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer has returned to the normal operation. Continue to use the dimmer as normal. Adjusting the maximum brightness. If your lights are flickering when they are set to a high brightness level, you can decrease the maximum brightness setting of the dimmer, which may prevent this from happening. If the lights are not as bright as you would like when the dimmer is set to maximum, you can try increasing the maximum brightness setting of the dimmer. 
Switch off and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn fully clockwise. Turn the lights on and back off again. On, off. Set the dimmer knob to the minimum position. Turn the lights on and back off again. Set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn the lights on. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode and either stay at a low light level or go off. Turn the knob fully anti-clockwise. The lights will come on and allow you to adjust the maximum brightness. Adjust the brightness that you are happy with as the maximum. Leave the dimmer in this position. After three seconds, the dimmer will notice that you've stopped adjusting the maximum. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer has returned to normal operation. Continue to use the dimmer as normal with your new maximum brightness. Drive function. Some LED lights require a large amount of power to come on and do not illuminate at low brightness levels. This dimmer is equipped with the drive function to cater for LED lights that require more power at startup. Switch off and set the dimmer knob to the minimum position. Turn the lights on and back off again roughly once per second. Set the dimmer knob to the maximum position. Turn the lights on and back off again roughly once per second. Set the dimmer knob to the minimum position, turning fully anti-clockwise. Turn the lights on. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer is in configuration mode. Then either stay at a low light level or go off. Set the dimmer knob to the position required to illuminate the lamps on startup. The lights will flash once. Continue to use the dimmer as normal with the drive function enabled. To disable the drive function, repeat these steps, omitting step 8. Child lock. You can prevent your dimmer from accidentally going into programming mode by following these instructions. Switch off the dimmer and set the dimmer knob to the maximum position, turning fully clockwise. Turn the lights on and back off again twice, roughly once per second. Set the dimmer knob to the minimum position, turning fully anti-clockwise. Turn the lights on and back off again twice, roughly once per second. Set the dimmer knob to the maximum position, turning fully clockwise. Turn the lights on, off, on, roughly once per second. The lights will step up and down in brightness to show that the dimmer has returned to normal operation. Continue to use the dimmer as normal with your new child lock setting. To disable child lock, repeat this procedure again. Thank you for watching Verilite TV. For more videos on the products in our range, please visit our YouTube channel, Verilite TV.